Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's on Dalfield Promotions show. Uh, uh, it's on the 30th of January. It's in Dublin. It's, it's an eight rounder. Yeah, tra training has been re going really good. I, I just fought like on the 10th of December, a couple of weeks back, you know, and uh, and I, I was straight back in the gym. Then I had a week off, and then I was straight back in the gym, and then uh, I'm getting ready to go again, you know. Yeah, I went, I went to Australia and uh, turned professional in 2006, and uh, I was with the legendary trainer out there, Johnny Lewis. He trained Costa Sue and, and a couple of great fighters, Jeff Fennick and all the rest of them, you know. And uh, yeah, I won the Australian light welterweight title in my fifth professional fight. Like I fought the champion, he was undefeated, and uh, it was a it was a big step up for me. My first ten rounder in five fights. And, uh, and I did it, you know, I, I, took, I took the title home and I, and I won the title and I was really happy with myself, you know. Well, uh, it was great because, look, I had a lot of Irish supporters over there because Australia is known for a big Irish, everybody goes over, English and Irish, look, I had a lot of supporters over there and, and they got behind me and uh, even the Aussies, they got behind me too also, you know. And once I became champion then, it was just easy then, you know what I mean? It was good, like... Yeah, I, I went to America, yeah. Uh, another legend, Freddie Roach is like, best trainer in the world. Uh, I went into the gym and, and I met Freddie and, and I, he had me sparring with a couple of his guys and a couple of guys in the gym and they... Before you knew it, I was sparring partners with Manny Pacquiao, and I was on, I was on Freddie Roach's camp. I was in in the World Card, and and I just took it from there. And I'm 14 and out now, and uh, I've been learning all the time. I've took a lot of a lot of a little bit off every trainer that I've been with, like Johnny Lewis and Freddie Roach has taught me so much, and and uh, and I'm always learning. I'm always I'm always listening to other trainers and what I can learn and uh, I just want to be the best that I can be, you know. I haven't fought in England. As a pro, I haven't fought in England. As an amateur, I had a couple of fights here. I had a couple of fights in Crystal Paris and that. Fought in Birmingham and that. And uh, yeah, as a pro, uh, this 2011, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that that the English is, uh, fans is going to see uh, a bit more of Irish Lightning. I don't want to say uh, when or, or where, but uh, keep, keep uh, an update on the internet and that, and, and, you, and you'll hear from Irish Lightning this, this year, 2011. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big year, you know? Uh, well, it, not for, for the Irish title, Frankie Gavin just won the Irish title and I, I believe he has vacated the, and uh, on, on next in line for the Irish title. I think he's gone on to, on to fight for the Masters, I believe, you know. And uh, I would be, I would like, like to fight for the Irish title. I mean, in, not this fight, the next fight after, I will be fighting for the Irish title. And, uh, Whoever's the, whoever's the number one candidate that, that'll be there, I'll fight them and I'll be Irish champion. So uh, Frankie Gavin is a great fighter and uh, down the road, I think not now because he's early in his career and uh, I'm early in my career. Maybe down the road for a European title or even a, a world eliminator, who knows, you know, because we're two great fighters and he's an Irishman, Englishman and uh, and I, and, I, and I draw a big crowd and everybody would love to see us fight and I, I would love to see us fight too but hopefully the two of us will be able to get two big paydays out of it and, uh, and, and you know what I mean and it'll be a great fight like. Well this year I want to, I just spoke about the Irish title, this year I want to pick off the Irish title, defend that a couple of times and uh, and get up there and uh, get get get, amin get amongst the mix the mix of things, you know, because I've, I've sparred with the likes of Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao, and I believe I can I can do it with the big boys. So so a couple a couple of ten rounders and then start moving up and uh, hopefully getting that European title shot and then moving on moving on, sky's the limit, moving on up from there, you know.